This year, we're going to do a new segment in Adair, Five Towns Riders Data Slices, a taste of 2017 season. We were able to put together data that I've been pulling since uh, early June 26, 2017 on a weekly basis. So as you see here, the Five Towns Riders Centuries of 2017 starts at week 23, goes to last week, which was week 44. Um, this is a count of the total number of centuries done by Five, five Towns Riders Strava Group in 2017. Pretty impressive, 124 centuries done by our group. Um, groups of comparable size do not have nearly as many centuries uh, from the data mining I was able to do on Strava. Here on the left side of the screen, you can see the count by week. A um, couple asterisk weeks. Six in week 26, that was from Bike NCSY, a Five Towns Riders participated ride. 31 in week 28, that's from the Gesher Century Challenge 2 ride. Um, 31 centuries completed that week. Pretty impressive, 3,326 miles. Uh, that was our second year participating in the Gesher Century Challenge. Then 38 in week 34, and that's obviously from day one of Bike for Chai. A total of 4,293 4, miles. But 124 throughout the season, not one week went by where a century wasn't rode by one of our members. Um, that middle graph you're looking at is just the total number of centuries by and the total number of miles ridden in those centuries alone. And then our rider honor roll. No, no secret, Sam Travis at the top. He had a lot of time over this summer to ride and did the most riding. Louis Seif, a candidate nomination for the Rookie of the Year, was able to do, pull out seven centuries in his first year. Moving on to the Five Towns Riders 2017 summary. So this is a heat graph showing all the mileage. Again, we only started at week 23 when I got this bug in my head to pull the data and started pulling it. You can't go back and pull historical, but we're able to pull each week as the week ends. Um, the green indicates a higher number, red indicates a lower number. So interesting throughout the season, up until Bike for Chai, total number of rides per week was increasing. Um, and our total elevation, obviously that week 34, 594,000 feet. That would be the equivalent of uh, over 20, cent 20 Everests done by our group that one week. Um, total distance, 10,000 miles in week 34. Average ride distance, 48 miles there. Uh, average speed, though, was one of the lowest of, for the year, obviously, because of all the hills, the riding, people not pausing their garments. So that's the type of data you pull out here. What's interesting to note is that as the year has gone along and we've gotten to week 48, 17.4 um, uh, as our been our average speed. Uh, that's probably due to indoor riding and the ability to go faster on Zwift than you can go outside. But pretty interesting data here to see what we've done over the year. So just from the, the portion of the year that we've pulled in, starting at week 23, which is in June. So we'll call it the Moshe Feigenbaum and Shragi Hefetz part of the year when they ride. 4,270,000 mi uh, feet of elevation 4,480 rides, 128,000 miles. We've been able to go around the world a couple times that way. Um, average ride distance up this year from last year to 28.96. Why do I say that? Last year's average ride was a BLHH or a PL. Um, this year we introduced, with the help of Phil Goldfeder, uh, the Far Rockaway Boardwalk, which gave us round trip a little bit over 12 miles, but if you took it out to Breezy Point, more than 20 a lot of people were doing more than two round trips, so 24 miles or so each time. Our total elevation and distance for the year graph, there you get to see the number of total miles ridden and total elevation throughout the year. We peak at Bike for Chai. A lot of guys leave their bikes at South Shore for the rest of the season, and we don't go much further than that. But uh, pretty impressive numbers for a group our size. Okay, look who's talking and who's riding. So. I decided I'd pull some data off of the no chat uh, WhatsApp group and correlate it to our our number of rides. And you see here that the the no chat has been the place to go to find out what's going on in the Five Towns Riders group, if there's a ride going on, when it's going on. Um, really, those two graphs, the number of activity in terms of rides and the number of posts on the no chat group are pretty much mirror images of each other. A couple spikes here or there that don't correlate with each other. but the group is doing its job. No chatting, just posting about rides. Videos. Our serial posters, who's posted the most no chat? Top three, not a big secret there. Sam Travis coming in number one. Shia number two. Babalola number three. 
133 posts. Probably those 60 were ride posts, posting a ride, and then 60 more were canceling that ride. But still 133, pretty impressive. That's our top 10 serial posters there. Here we have some trivia questions from the no chat. If you could answer two out of three of these by the end of the night pr correctly, you get a free bike wash from Caden Cycling Center. Who's been kicked off the no chat most in 2017? You'll be surprised at the answer to that. What was the busiest no chat month? That's probably also a surprising answer. When I saw that information, I was a little bit surprised. But it really correlates to this question number three, which what was the busiest day on the no chat this season? And now let's review one of our patented rides, our bucket list century. So last season we did Long Beach Boardwalk. This season we did the Far Rockaway Boardwalk. Long Beach Boardwalk was our go-to place last season for poor weather rides. We did a lot of those. Um, this year the Far Rockaway Boardwalk took over for that. Um, interesting to note that it was almost a year to the date of the two centuries. Um, number of participants in Long Beach Boardwalk, only 12. That grew this year to 23. Number completed, though, dropped due to really inclement weather that night. Really bad winds, really strong winds that were pushing us um, out west, but fighting us back east. Uh, lower temperatures of 46 degrees. Total number of miles obviously covered was larger because we had more people. Average speed was lower because we had more people and poorer weather. And the average distance that a rider rode uh, also dropped this year. Uh, again, it's been a great year. It's been amazing to be part of the group. Thanks a lot for listening, and have a great night.